to Danville Community High School in Danville, Indiana, as we get set to start semifinal A in the ABA Central Region Red Division Championship Weekend. We have on tap the Nashville Aces out of Nashville, Tennessee, up against the Indiana Lions out of right here in Danville, Indiana. I'm Eric Ivey, I'm here with Jim Holtzclaw, my daughter Gabby's on the camera. And as they start, the, uh, start announcing the starting lineups, starting for the Nashville Aces, number two, Rivers, number 11, Kelso, number 22, Stanbury, number 35, McClure, number 55, Moore. And starting for your Indiana Lions, number two, Eric Messer, number three, Jordan Heidelberg, number five, Phil Besick, number 21, Leon Tillman, and number 30, Gerald Cam Campbell. This is the first of two games that we'll be broadcasting today at seven o'clock Eastern time, six o'clock Central time. We'll be broadcasting the Clarksville Phoenix versus the Ohio Kings. So we hope you'll stay on our YouTube channel, give the uh, subscribe button a press and join us for the second game as well. Nashville Aces in uh, solid black uniforms with yellow and white trim and their logo on the front. Lions in solid white uniforms with purple trim and it looks like a little bit of teal. Lions across their chest. And let's see who's gonna be doing the tip off. That looks like McClure for the Aces and Leon Tillman uh, for the Lions. Well, and let's see if McClure goes back into this. Yep, here he comes. And it seems as though Eric Messer is very well acquainted with a lot of the uh, players from the Nashville yeah. Aces. I uh, probably used to be teammates with them a Prob few years ago. Probably so. Eric Messer hails from Clarksville, Tennessee, which is right on the back doorstep of Nashville. So here we go. We are off. Lions win the tip. Jordan Heidelberg with the ball. He brings it across the timeline. And here we go. And we are in Danville Community High School today. Yes, we are, home of the Danville Community High School Warriors. Both the boys and the girls basketball teams from Danville Community High School went to semi-state this year. Nice move, Two Leon points Tillman. From Leon Tillman. So congratulations to both Warriors teams. This is quite the basketball hub here at DCHS. So we are thrilled to be able to host two games here for the ABA playoffs. Lions are coming out in a man-to-man, -man, hopefully uh, try, uh, trying to keep them out of the uh, lane as much as they can, uh, make them shoot from the outside. Shot is up, no good, rebounded by Gerald Campbell. And they are gonna be rebounding much better than their last game, I have a feeling. I believe so. Uh, a couple weeks ago, the Peoria Pitbulls came in there and kind of surprised us and beat us. Yes. As Cam scores two, give the Lions a four-nothing lead. And, uh, you know, if I, looking back on it, I wonder if we didn't maybe second guess the, or uh, underestimate the pit bulls a little bit. So we definitely learned nice that block. lesson. Blocked there by nope. uh, Leon, but Rivers gets his follow-up shot to go in for two Indiana Lions. Leon got all ball. Uh, kind of surprised minute and a half into it, we don't have a foul yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that's not a bounce. That'll be a turnover going over to the Aces. <laughs> Aces bring the ball up the floor. Oh, Phil. This tried to is get it. a three-point shot up. No good. That was Moore who tried to, and Jim jinxed us, and now we have our first foul. It'll be called against Gerald Campbell. We call him that on Cam, but it looked like uh, Campbell was being held by uh, 35. McClure. So he couldn't get so he couldn't get any uh, any traction to get in for a rebound. Kelso inbounds it. Lion, or uh, not the Lions, the Aces passing it around. Three-point shot is up, three-point shot is good. And as soon as the fellow turns around, I can see his number, 22. That was Stanbury. So Aces out to a 5-4 oh. lead. Cam gets the ball stolen. This is oh, Moore all by himself. Slam dunk, two for Nashville. 7-4, Aces in the lead. Aces on a 7-0 run after giving up the first four points. Whistle That's, on the floor. It's going to be a blocking foul on 35. It is indeed. Foul called against McClure for the Aces. Foul's called on the floor. Gerald Cam Campbell will inbound, throws it into Jordan Heidelberg. 
Jordan to the hoop, Jordan shoots, and, and it goes in. Gets a favorable roll. The Lions are taking it to the hoop in this game. They're yes, not they uh, not even stopping for the outside shots. Not I think that is a good game plan. Not not yet, anyway. Good block by Phil Besick. Very good. Rebounded by Leon Tillman. Throws it down to Jordan. Jordan's going to take uh, it to the hoop. That I is a charge. McClure got yep. set, and he did, and the foul yep. is called against he Jordan. He did get his feet set on that one. Jordan Heidelberg with the charge. Yeah, we're going to have two real good games on tap uh, today, so we're yeah. going to be pretty worn out by the time it's over. Probably so. And on top of that, all the uh, uh, college teams are having their their uh, conference tournaments right now, so anybody who wants to watch a basketball game doesn't have to look very far. No, uh-uh. This is Stanbury with the ball, guarded by Jordan. Stanbury fires up a long two. It will not go. Leon to Leon. Leon. Leon over to Jordan. Jordan across the court to Cam. Cam dribble dribbles. He'll shoot. He'll and, score, and gets he'll the end the one. Takes the lead. So Cam will go to the line to shoot one. Lions retake the lead, 8-7 in what I got to guess is going to be a seesaw battle all the way through. Yeah, I don't see anybody giving up very quick. This is the first time the Lions and Aces have played against each other as Cam is good on his and one. Make it 9-7. Yeah, they were supposed to have a midseason matchup, but there were some logistics issues and didn't didn't get to happen. No. So, going to take it to the postseason and work it out there. Jamario Rivers thinks about a three instead. Uh, oh, steal. Jordan picks it off. Yeah, don't have anybody to outlet to, so he's going to pull it up. And Leon Tillman kicks it out, out to, Cam. to Cam. Cam all by himself for three. He'll take it. And he buries it. Gerald Camber will take that one all day long. Wide open. Scoreboard is not right. It is 12-7 uh, after that three-pointer. Indiana Lions in the lead. Not sure what happened there. Now it's 12-9. As long as the clock keeps working, they can catch up with the score later. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. I see uh, Tatiana at the scorer's table. She knows that something's off. and They are furiously trying to fix it. Two-pointer up and good by Gerald Campbell. <laughs> Cam just looked at the scoreboard and said, what? Yeah. Sorry, Cam, you're not getting any <laughs> You're not getting any respect for any of those points you just scored. That's right. Three-pointer up Ooh, and good, and that he, was Stanberry, I believe. Did he call bank? I don't know, but uh, that was a, still a pretty shot. All right. I believe it's 14-12, Lions in the lead. Leon over to Eric. Eric Messer fires up a three-pointer, and he there buries you go. it. Yeah, it almost appears as though the guest scoreboard side is working, but the uh, home, there we go. There now we, we got it fixed. Made the adjustment. 15 12. No, 15 14. Lions coming up for a trap. Uh, that doesn't they've, seem right either. Luckily, they've got the official score right there. Yeah. Sean Tillman. No good. Rivers tries to get the rebound. It won't go. Rebounded by uh, yeah. Jordan Heidelberg. If Leon can't get his hands on it, he will tip it to one of his teammates, and he's just a rebounding machine. Cam needs some help, throws it out to Jordan. Jordan's going to drive it all the way in, shoot oh, it, Jordan. won't go. Rebounded by, I think that was uh, Kelso. The numbers on the Aces jersey is a little tricky to read. Shot by Moore, up no good. Rivers there gets go. the rebound. His putback won't go. Rebounded by Cam. The Lions are furiously rebounding today. Yes. That is their main priority, it seems. Oh, oh Cam. That was a nice yeah. interception there. He got uh, and anticipated. I think that was Moore. <laughs> Boy, these numbers are tough to read. Yes, you got to see their, the back of their jerseys. Yeah, I th it's just the font that I'm. Well, just, that's true. That is a little. With. Leon. On oh, smashes in two. He was going to make sure that went down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Leon. We need the nets for the rest of the game. So. <laughs> Kelso with the ball. He throws it across to a teammate. Back and forth. I think that's Moore again. Throws it over to McClure. McClure Boy. out to Kelso again, and we got a whistle. Three seconds in the lane. All right. Three seconds in the lane. The guys are doing a perfect job of switching and picking up a man if he's left alone. They're doing an awesome job. They must have focused on defense. They must have. This, uh, this last week 
and nothing else. We know you can shoot the ball. With six minutes left on the nose in the first quarter, we think the score might be 17-16, Lions in the lead. We're going to take a break and see if they adjust that scoreboard uh, while we're gone. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana, as we continue semifinal A between the Lions and the Aces. Jordan buries a two-pointer. Score adjustment was made during commercial break, so Jordan's two makes it 21-16, Lions, as Rivers to the basket, and he sort of slams it in. It was just at the end of his fingertips there. 21-18, Eric Messer firing up oh. a three-pointer. It won't go, rebounded by Kelso. Some of these guys for the Nashville Aces played for the Music City Jazz last year, so I recognize them by face, like Jalen Kelso. And that was Stanberry up and good for two. Yep, we're going to be going back and forth all afternoon long. 21-20, Lions in the lead. This is Eric Messer with the ball. He kicks it out to Leon. Leon fires up a three. No. Ooh. Rebounded by Moore. Moore throws it over to Stanberry underneath to Rivers. Rivers with the layup up, no good. Rebounded by Cam. Cam throws over to Eric. Back to Cam. Underneath to Phil, Phil by Bessick. himself. There's Phil. Phil Bessick for two. Boy, somebody lost track of Phil there. Yeah. He was camped out having a picnic lunch when they got oh, that yeah. pass. Yep. Complacent is not a word that can be used in today's game or else no. you're going to get lost. Just the slightest mistake could be the oh, killer. Oh, got the roll on that one. I thought Leon got a fingertip on it. That was up and good for uh, Stanberry for two. And here come the Lions. Gerald Campbell with the ball. He dribbles through traffic. And he's getting slapped all over Shoot. the place. Yeah. Shot won't go. Foul is called. He got fouled two or three times on that drive. Yeah. Seems like the Aces have about 117 guys guarding Cam. <laughs> is that, uh, they called that on 22, Stanberry? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they did because he's over talking to the official. So, Gerald Cam Campbell will go to the line to shoot two. 416 left in the first period. Substitution as Scooty uh, Walker comes in. Uh, Preston Case comes in. Eric Messer and Jordan Heidelberg take a seat for the Indiana Lions. And I'm looking real quickly. I believe all five starters are still out there for the Aces as Cam hits his first free throw. Cam's second shot up. No good. Rebounded by Moore. So 24-22, Lions in the lead. Oh, no, there was a substitution. Yeah, Carruthers uh, is in the game. Oh, that uh, that was shot was up. No good by Stanberry. Carruthers is in the game for uh, the Aces. Rivers. Looks like Rivers came out. Yeah, right. and it looks like Rivers is going to come right back in again. Yep. Scooty Walker. He drives the bat. Kicks out to Preston Case. Preston fires up a three. No. 
just a little too much on it. Rebounded by the Aces. I think that's Stanberry. Yes, it is. Throws it over to uh, Carruthers. Back to Stanberry. Stanberry's going to take it to the hoop. Oh, Cam got a finger on it. He did indeed. Rebounded by Scooty Walker. Yeah, if they can just change the trajectory of those shots, uh, they're going to they're gonna be missing a lot of inside stuff today. Scooty, Scooty, Scooty Walker. Scooty scores. 26-22, Lions in the lead. 3-23 and counting in the first period. That's something they didn't get in the last game were favorable rolls. No. Uh, you know, most of those would have just bounced off and yeah. been a defensive rebound. I think somebody put a thimble up for the basket on each end of yeah. the court in that game. <laughs> yeah. Nobody could get anything to go in. Both teams struggled with that. Oh, there you go, Scooty Walker. Scooty Walker all by himself. Shoot, score. Good job, Scooty Walker. Moore did his best to defend without committing a foul, but he really wasn't in great position on that fast break play there. Shot up Phil by Bessick. Kelso. And Phil is just flabbergasted that yeah. he was called for the foul. Well, I tell you, Phil got some ball, but he also got some Jalen Kelso on that one. <laughs> so Jalen appears no worse for wear. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Just as soon as we come back from our second media timeout, 2.50 left in the first period, Indiana Lions 28, Nashville Aces 22, and Jim and I will be back in a moment. Welcome back to Danville Community High School in Danville, Indiana. As we come out of our second media timeout in the first quarter, Indiana Lions lead the Nashville Aces for the moment, 28-20, but Jalen Kelso is at the line to shoot two. And as memory serves, he is an effective free point. There you go. You, you can jinx them free as, throw as, shooter. as well as you can jinx, jinx our guys. Sorry, Jalen. Yeah. So he's been perfect on the year. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. he gets that one. <laughs> one for two. Man, I am the kiss of death on yeah, free throws. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any football team wants oh. me to call their kicker's uh, success rate before a field uh, goal. Yeah, if that isn't a foul, I don't know what is. And the referee agrees with Jim, calls yeah. the foul. <laughs> I was. Uh... Leon Tillman will go to the line. <laughs> they call that on uh, Rivers? Uh, Carruthers. Carruthers, okay. That is Carruthers' yeah. first foul, according to the scoreboard. Yeah, it was. And Leon's first, first shot is, is up and good. Yeah, I was watching a little uh, college ball uh, tournament action uh, before I came here, and it was kind of funny. Guy took a shot, and somebody touched him on the hand, and they called a foul. <laughs> and I thought, holy cow. That, uh, some of the uh, ABA fouls would end up sending people to the hospital. Yeah. Leon can't get his second shot to go. Goes out of bounds, last touch by the Lions. Uh, Aces made a substitution during that uh, break in the action. Kelso came out. Holt is in now, wearing number 13 for the Aces. Moore fires up a three-pointer. It won't go. Rebounded by Leon. Good hands, Leon. You know, what I'm noticing is the Aces don't have a whole lot of motion. They, uh, 
they are not running around. Uh, get it, Leon. Phil shot won't go. Rebounded by Leon. Leon's put back up and good. Yeah, they're not wearing our guys down because they're not running a whole lot of motion. No. And when, they, when you run motion in a man-to-man, -man, that guy has to keep up with him all the time. We're looking for a 24-second shot violation. Yeah, they or, stepped on the sideline. out of bounds. And there's going to be a technical or at least a warning. Yes, that could be a quick toss. However, the Nashville ace, zero, Derek Jolly, yep. held on to the ball, and you can't do that. All right, looks like he just got the warning. Okay, that was a warning. Derek Jolly also used to play for the Music City Jazz. I remember him. Leon Tillman sets the oh, pick. Rivers tries to pick it off. And oh. we got a foul. They're going to call it on Cam. Said he shoved him a little bit. Against Cam. Uh-oh, trip to the hospital? Quite possibly. So Derek Jolly sneaked in while I wasn't looking. Let's see who we got. We got Jolly, Moore, Rivers. Uh, do, 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 do. Who's that down there? Uh -oh. That's Jolly again. Now they're all running all over the place. Yeah. Holt. 55, more, you got more? I don't know. There's five guys sure. out there for Nashville. Yep. Shot, got, shot won't go, rebounded by Phil. Phil throws it over to Scooty Walker. Scooty gets it across the timeline. 115 and counting left in the first quarter. Lions up 31-21. Oh. This is Preston Case, and his shot gets oh. blocked. Goes oh. out of bounds, last touch by the Aces. At least Preston had the awareness to see that Leon was coming in. That could have been a hell of a dunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we got a timeout on the floor, Where possibly? I believe we do. 30 well, seconds. All right, Jim, let's fire up that unique ABA rules let's for those who may that. not be familiar. Most of us are familiar that in the ABA, a player has seven seconds to get the ball across midcourt, as opposed to the eight seconds allowed in the NBA and the NCAA. Players foul out on their seventh foul, and it fell out of regulation, but they can come back in overtime. Half-court basket is worth four points, and if that shooter is fouled in the process, he has the ability to make it a five-point play. And on any turnover in the backcourt, the 3D light comes on, you add a point to any shot that is made on that possession, and you add a free throw attempt to any shooting foul that is called. We have not yet seen the 3D light today, but as soon as it comes on, we will let you know, and uh, we will try to explain things as we go. Those yeah, are some of the uh, unique rules in the ABA that makes the game fast-paced and high-scoring. And confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are some situations we've had this year that uh, the 3D light came on. Not exactly sure why, but right. gave them the extra bucket and move on. Yeah. Sometimes it happens so fast that, you know, the light's on and off in half a second. You know, it's, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Meanwhile, we're trying to keep up with it right. on the broadcast. But the point is, uh, a lead that you would normally think is safe in the NBA and the NCAA is anything but in the ABA. So, despite the fact that the Lions are out to a 10-point lead at the moment, means absolutely nothing. This is Preston Case with the ball. He throws it over to Jordan Heidelberg. Still have 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Preston fires up a three-pointer. Preston Case! 34-21. Preston Case, the silent assassin. He doesn't say much, but boy, he'll kill you on the floor. Rivers over to a teammate, Jolly. I see his face now. Jolly with the ball. Jolly fires up that three. Is and nowhere that's, close. Yeah, well, that would be because Phil got a large piece of Jolly on Jolly's uh, way up. Uh, I would debate that. Let's look at the replay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that was not a foul. Derek Jolly <laughs> should go to the... <laughs> Did you want to see the replay too? No. Oh, okay. Derek, uh, Derek Jolly will go to the line to shoot three since he was in the process of shooting a three-pointer when he was fouled. You're just going to take my word for it then? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that wasn't the foul. Okay. 32 and a half seconds left in the first period. Uh, hush falls over the crowd. Yep. Jolly's first shot up, no good. Remains 34-21. Doc Swift gives him a little love from yeah. the DJ booth. <laughs> Substitution for the Lions as Gerald Cam Campbell gets a drink of water. And Stonewall Jackson Stone, a graduate of Danville Community High School, is, comes back out on his former home, home court wearing number 25 for the Lions. Doesn't seem as though the uh, guys have skipped a beat uh, moving 
uh, home courts over here for the day. No. Phil Besick also getting a break. Mike Carter wearing number 18 for the Lions coming in his stead. And Jolly's second shot is up and good. 34-22. Lions in the lead in the waning seconds of the first quarter. Jolly is about to send up his third attempt. It is up. It is short. No, it's good. My bad. It was short, but then it went long, and then it went, <laughs> and then it went good. <laughs> Jolly got just the right amount of mustard on it, and it fell. Mm -hmm. Tricked me. So, 34-23. Jordan Heidelberg with the ball. Throws it over to uh, Leon Tillman. Leon Oh, shoots. Leon. No good. Rebounded by Jolly. That was quite the high, high arcing finger roll. It was. Derek throws over to you, a teammate. We have a whistle on the floor. I'm not sure what we got going on. Uh, Moore is coming out. I think he might have a little. Did he get banged up maybe a little bit? Stanberry is coming in in his place. We'll, we'll keep an eye on Moore. He, as the ball uh, comes loose, uh, that should a be jump. a jump ball. It is. That's three and seconds left. Possession arrow favors okay. the Nashville Aces. So with 3.6 seconds left, Rivers is going to inbound, and the Aces will see what they can do before the final buzzer of the quarter. Whoops, lost footing. Throw it up. And... Oh, Leon. Leon well, was about an hour late on that one. Yeah, I think <laughs> <laughs> it's to the end of the buzzer, isn't it? It's like yeah. when the bell tolls at the end of the bell tolling <laughs> at 12 o'clock. That's when you have to be in bed. Yes. So yeah. we reached the end of the first period. Indiana Lions 34, Nashville Aces 23. Jim and I are going to get a swig of water, and we will be back in a moment. Welcome back to Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana, as we are about to start the second quarter of the first semifinal game of the Red Division uh, Championship weekend here in the Central Region. Looks like on the floor is Derek Jolly, Holt, uh, it's Rivers over there, Stanberry, and another fella, uh, Number four, Carruthers, for the Aces. Okay. And for the Lions, it'll be Preston Case, Jordan Heidelberg, Gerald Cam Campbell, Mike Carter, and Stonewall Jackson Stone. Waiting uh, for the officials to get started again? Yeah, I guess they were waiting for me to identify everybody on the floor, yeah. maybe. Okay, now that Eric is done, <laughs> we can continue play. Please, please proceed. That's right. The world does revolve around me, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, ball goes off of the ace's foot. That is Derek Jolly down there. Even though other people think it revolves around them, we know. <laughs> That's right. We know the truth. <laughs> yeah. You know that big that big orange ball in the sky? Uh, it yep. goes around Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Preston Case inbounds to Jordan Heidelberg. Jordan underneath Stonewall Jackson. Jackson's oh. going to battle for the basket. And the ball's going to get knocked out of his hand. Derek Jolly is going to get called. No, Stanberry is going to get called for the foul. Stanberry doesn't like being called for the foul. 
Is he going to try and talk the official out of it? Yeah, no, I think he protested very briefly and politely mm. and then said, you know what, forget it. I'll swap you two technicals and a travel <laughs> for, one, <laughs> for one personal foul. That's right. Stonewall Jackson fires up his first free throw and scores his first point of the game. As I said earlier, Jackson is a graduate of Danville Community High School, so he is quite familiar with this gym. And it looks like he's familiar with that hoop, too. Yes, he, he is. <laughs> Good job, Jackson. 36-23 on the scoreboard. So Stanberry with the ball, guarded by Mike Carter. Now he's guarded by Preston Case. Throws it over to Rivers. Rivers over to Jolly. And the Lions are going to keep the aces outside. Yep. Period. Rivers underneath to that, oh I there's couldn't see be, who was under that there. That is a shot clock violation, but first was a travel. Okay. All right. At any rate, the ball goes over to the Lions. That was Carruthers who saved the low pass underneath, but the Aces ran out of time. And it's Lions ball. Let Stonewall ja Jackson with it. Let Jackson play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Shoots. Jackson will take it. Oh, just doesn't go. Mike oh. Carter battles for the rebound. Needed but more Stanberry than, comes up with it. Needed more than just Mike Carter down there. He needed to tip it to somebody. Jolly shoots up a three. It won't go. Lions wind up with the ball. Valiant effort there by Holt, but he didn't have anybody there to tip it to. Oh, Cam. Cam underneath, throws it to Carter. Carter out to Jordan. Jordan fires up a three, no. Uh, that was Carruthers with the rebound. Shot down on the other end, foul is called. That'll be against Preston Case. He raises his hand and says, yep, that was me. It's like a couple guys on the aces need a little air, yep. a little oxygen. And who was that? that oh, that was Derek Jolly who yeah. got plastered by Preston Case. So Derek will go to the line and shoot two. Derek appears to have picked up all of his teeth and both of his eyeballs, has them back in. And the Aces make a couple substitutions as McClure comes back in. Uh, Kelso comes back in. And somebody came out. That is Holt. 13, yeah, Holt. And maybe Carruthers? Carruthers yes, Carruthers also, Carruthers came, also out. came out. And the Lions are going with the guys that started the second half, or second quarter. Derek's first shot up and good. 10-29 left in the second quarter. 36-24, Lions in the lead. But as Jim and I talked about earlier in the game with these unique ABA rules, a 12-point lead at this point in the game really means nothing. <laughs> and the uh, Lions are over there on the bench smiling because they've got a, a little group of young guys <laughs> that are yelling at the free throw shooter, trying to get him to miss, and they're thinking, you know, you guys are only two feet away from us. Right. Uh, can you maybe move down a little bit? Got a smile out of Derek Jolly, but he buries <laughs> his free throw anyway. Cam to the hoop. His shot won't go. Whistle on the floor, and we're going to have a foul call against uh, Rivers. He called that on Rivers, yeah. Okay. And that gives... One of the other aces was acting like he, Derek Jolly was acting like he was the guilty party, but maybe he just mm, didn't. There were a couple of them on the, in, inside the lane on that. But uh, the referee did indeed hold up two fingers, which is Jamario Rivers. Cam's first shot up and good. Makes it 37-25. 10-17 left in this frame. Lions up by 12. Cam puts up his second shot. Lions now up by 13. Stanbury brings the ball across the floor, across midcourt in plenty of time. He's going to drive all the way to the hoop. His shot won't go. However, oh, Stonewall Jackson with the rebound. Throws it over to Jordan Heidelberg. Yeah, Stanbury looked at that uh, six foot ten frame of Jackson. Yeah. Jackson Stone said, ah, i got to get this thing up. And, uh, altered shot. Uh, we got a foul on the floor. We Might be against Jackson. Bloody nose. Oh. No, I think they stopped it because we got a bloody nose down here on this end. Somebody. Preston got. Oh. Uh, Preston. Okay, so Preston's Preston sprung a leak. He's yeah. Walker in for Preston, Case. Preston Case is going to go to the sideline with his hand covered in a cloth. So he is probably going to need a super glue, yeah, duct tape, cut. staples. I don't know. Something to put himself back together. Any lesser of a man would have had to had a helicopter 
That's right. Airlift him to the hospital. That's right. <laughs> but Preston says, no, nope, just wrap it up, put a little cold water on it and some betadine. And yep. That'll be a shot clock violation, I believe. It is indeed. Uh, Ball goes over to the Aces. Long pass down to Rivers. Underneath to McClure. Yes. And, oh, Good hands, Cam. Say, Aces touched it last. Yeah, Cam knocked it off of uh, 35. That's McClure. Cam with the ball. Right, throws it over to Scooty Walker. Scooty was the one who replaced Preston, by the Scooty's way. Scooty's wanting, uh, yeah, wanting Jackson to get out of the. Ball. There you go. That should be a 3D light right there. That should be a 3D light. 3D light, yes. The Aces stole it from the Lions, and then the Lions stole it back from the Aces in the Aces' backcourt, and I think that's what they're going to discuss right now. Carter uh, smartly called timeout, and yes, no? Are they going to say the Aces didn't yes, have possession? no, yes. No, he was going to throw it down, but then it kind of went back and forth. I'm going to turn on our 3D light. Yep, okay. They just... The uh, now official they got just the 3D made light. the motion, and the 3D light in the house is on. Okay, so. 3D light in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened there in that rapid sequence of events was that the Aces stole it from the Lions, and then before the, Li uh, the Aces could get it across center court, the Lions stole it back. Mike Carter called timeout. And so since we stole the ball in the Aces' backcourt, the 3D light comes on. And we will now add a point to any shot that is made by the Lions on this possession, and we will add a free throw attempt to any shooting foul that is called. So if we happen to get a three-pointer, it'll be it'll four be points. Worth four. Yep. Two-pointer will be worth three points. So the Aces here are going to want to get a rebound and uh, kill this drive and escape the 3D light because as soon as they gain possession, the 3D light goes off. Scooty Walker with the ball after Cam inbounds it. Scooty assessing his left. options. Throws it over to Jordan Heidelberg. All right, guys, five seconds left. There goes Cam. There's Cam. He shoots. Won't oh. go. Rebounded by Rivers, and the 3D light goes off. And that kills. Long the pass down court. Jordan almost picks it off, but can't quite. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the aces. I was busy turning off our light. Where did that pass originate from? The backcourt. It if, did. If so. uh, Jordan was... Uh, three inches taller and could have caught that, then that would have been a 3D play again. Stonewall Jackson getting a break. Leon Tillman back in the contest. Rivers with the ball, guarded by the aforementioned Leon. He throws it over to Kelso. Oh, oh Scooty could have over turned McClure, around. Over to Neal. Uh, Neal's short. three pointer up, no good. Yes. Three, ball goes out of bounds. Over to the Lions. Over to the Lions, 8.31 and counting in the second quarter. 38-29, no, 25, Lions in the lead. Cam wants Jordan to go around the outside. Come back, he's gonna work it one-on-one. -on -one. Cam shoots, Cam will Cam take scores. it. <laughs> Cam will take it. 40-25, Lions in the lead. McClure throws it yes, over sir. to Kelso. Kelso, oh, he's got lots of time, and he gets it over the timeline, no worries there. Kelso to Rivers, back to Kelso. Mm, Kelso yeah, slams on the break. He stopped a little short. He said, no, nah, this, <laughs> this is a setup. I know it is. Here comes McClure. Layup up okay. and good. <laughs> it's a trap. 40 to 27. Lions in the lead after McClure's two points for the Aces. Gerald Cam Campbell with the ball, guarded by Jamario Rivers. He's going to. Cam shoots. With his Cam Euro scores. step. Cam has perfected that Euro step. He has indeed. Big time. Everybody's all-star. Gerald Campbell. Yep. Almost everybody's all-star. Well, everybody that counts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Neil fires up a three-pointer. It's a little short. Rebounded by Leon. Leon over to Jordan. Jordan over to Scooty. What's Scooty, Scooty gonna do with it? There, there you go, Scooty. Scores. I like the way Scooty smoothed out and then just took a nice little easy layup. He did. Extend the lead out. Time to not get complacent. 
6.59 left in the second quarter. We have a timeout on the floor. Jim and I are due for a media timeout, so we'll take it. Indiana Lions 44, Nashville Aces 27, and Jim and I will be back in a moment. Welcome back to Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana, as we come out of the first media timeout of the second quarter, Indiana Lions 44, Nashville Aces 27. And Jim, while we don't have our crowd size guessing expert, our boss Ryan Lemley mm -hmm. here to guess that there are seven or eight trillion people in this gym, we do have a very nice sized crowd. Probably not that many, but we're looking at a good, uh, I'd say, let me see, one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd say we got a couple hundred. Yeah, great crowd here. Yeah, Tell I the shot won't go. There are actually more people on our side of the court than what uh, viewers are probably seeing on the screen from uh, Gabby's camera. Oh, are they designating sides? I guess I didn't realize that. Oh, no, it's just oh, there's more people on our side. That's a travel. What are you guys doing? <laughs> you got two guys fighting over the ball down here. That is a travel. Nice trap. Aces passing it around. McClure can't hang on to it. Reeled in by Eric Messer. He throws it a long, uh, long way down the court to Scooty. Back to Eric. Back to Scooty. Over to Leon. Through the woods to grandmother's house. We go. <laughs> out to Cam. He'll put up a two, and he'll and bury it. And he'll sink it. 46-27 as we hit the six-minute six mark in the second quarter. Keep extending that lead, Lions. Keep extending that lead. Lions are playing suffocating defense. They are, and that is what wins championships. It is indeed. Oh. Defense. A little too tall for Eric Messer on the rebound. Oh. McClure gets that rebound. Third His time. shot is up, and whistle on the floor. Third time is, what do they say, third, third time you can eat Lucky Charms? I think so. Something, something, like, something like that. Something like that, yeah. 5.40 left in the second period, 46-27. Mike Carter called for the infraction. That will send Mr. McClure to the line for the Aces to shoot two. Shot is up. Shot is a little bit long. It remains 46-27. Doc Swift <laughs> giving him a little love at the line. Oh, if that's not demoralizing, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. oh, what's that? Is that from Monty Hall? And that one's short. Yep. Oh, no. McClure has to find the middle ground the next time he gets the opportunity. Yeah, Scooty we need to get Walker. this crowd rolling. So I think. Uh, uh, oh, oh, steal there by. Uh, is that Kelso? Yes, it is. Oh, Scooty's going to. Scooty is not one to debate the official over a foul. Nope. He just raises his finger and says, yep, let's move on. Yep. That was me. Foul called against Scooty Walker. Jalen Kelso will inbound. He does so, throws it into Stanbury. Yeah, I like the way the Lions have been trapping. Yes. Periodically. And they're getting their hands in there, knocking the ball free. Aces are having some trouble with ball okay. handling. Nice shot there by Jamario Rivers. He makes it 46-29 as we approach the five-minute mark 
in the second period. Eric and Nesser Eric, oh. gets the ball stolen from Jalen Kelso. All right, Jalen, that's enough of that. <laughs> Unless you're an Aces fan, and then you want to see more of that. Three-point shot by Stanbury up no good. Grab it, Leon. Battle for the rebound, jump ball, and, and that is going it'll to be go over to the Aces. Didn't the uh, – I thought – I thought the Aces got the last position arrow. I couldn't tell you. That was more than 30 seconds ago, and I have no yeah. clue. Who's playing? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tatiana at the scoring table uh, immediately signaled the Aces' way. Verified. So. Okay. We must have gotten another jump ball somewhere. We may have. Shot by Stanbury for three. Up no good. Out Rebounded. Oh, Almost man. rebounded by Phil. And somebody oh. got a three. That is more. So Moore got the offensive rebound, fired up a three of his own, and hit it. All right, guys. Yep. Lions cannot get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cam shoots. Cam, Cam looks, scores. Cam looks down at him, says that was in no way a charge. Yep. Up. Long pass to McClure, and that is a foul. That's I on Cam. saw that one. I believe that's going to be Cam's third. Yeah, Leon and Cam both had their heads turned, and they took advantage of it. Yep. So, McClure readjusts his spine, and he's going to go to the line to shoot two. 421 left in the second quarter. Indiana Lions 48, Nashville Aces 32. That is Cam's third foul. And McClure will see if he can find the middle ground, and he does. After being long on one and short on the other his last time up, he found the magic spot. Yeah, McClure looks a little hesitant with his form, like it's very iffy when it rolls off his fingertips, hmm. is what I see. Because I'm a free throw shooting guru. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks good, is That good. one looks, yeah. He puts a little more spin on the ball than most guys do. Yeah. So McClure is true on both of his shots, makes it 48-1, according to the scoreboard. I, they're going to have to get that fixed. New scoreboard, maybe. The buttons aren't where we're uh, used to having them at Bostic Gym. Yeah, we're having a few issues. At least they've got an official score. There Phil. you go, Phil. Take it in. Oh, Phil yep. goes to the hoop. Whistle on the floor. Should be on number 11, Kelso, Jalen Kelso. Yeah. It is indeed. And Phil will go to the line to shoot two. 48-33 now that they've got the scoreboard fixed. I'm guessing the uh, keys just aren't quite where we're used to and where you normally uh, press a button to up the point. Yeah. It resets it to one instead of adding one or something. So the keys are in the, you got to choke it and then <laughs> press the gas a couple times right. yeah. instead of having the turbocharged <laughs> fuel injection scoreboard over there. Exactly. Oh, you mean keyboard keys. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure you do. Is there a cabin filter on that? Uh, maybe, if it's new enough. Oh, Phil with the bank shot. Phil's first shot up and good, 49-33, 4.03 left in the second quarter. Let's see if Phil tries that bank shot on the second one. Well, if so, he has changed up his form just a little bit. Boom. Nope. I think it was just a hair long with the first one. It may, <laughs> may have been. He said, I'll take that mistake. That's right. Halfway to 100, it's 50 to 33. Indiana Lions in the lead as we dip under the four minute mark. Jamario Rivers with the ball. He'll take a jump shot for two, won't go. Rebounded by Gerald Cam Campbell. Cam throws it over to Scooty. Oh, it's going to be a turnover. There you go. Steals the ball. Bounds. That was a foul down here in the corner. And they're going to rule it. There you go. A 3D play because that the pass be a 3D originated play. in the backcourt. We're going to toss. And at a point to Eric Schott. <laughs> no, doesn't go. Phil Bessick. There you go, Phil. Of error. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Two points for Phil Schott. Add one for the 3D light. All right. And it should be 53-33 <laughs> with 3.30 left in the second quarter. We've reached our second media timeout. Jim and I are going to take a break and be back.
Welcome back to Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana. As we come out of the second media timeout of the second quarter, they have corrected the score to uh, give Phil his extra point because of the 3D light. So it is now officially 53-33 Lions in the lead. Everybody is. Uh, I'm not relaxing. Gain their composure over the course of that timeout because yeah. it was getting a little squirrely there for a few it minutes. It was. The Aces inbounded, uh, threw it in from their backcourt. Eric intercepted it. Got tackled. You got tackled. Uh, on the goal line down at this end. So with the ball going over to the Lions, uh, that counted as a turnover in the backcourt, triggered the 3D light. Although during the break, Jalen Kelso has been arguing on behalf of the Aces that he was in the front court when he threw it in and – you know, you know, I, I, I think he may have a, <laughs> I may, ha I think he might have a point there because I think he was on this side of half court when he threw it down there. Yeah, I have to guess that's what the officials are discussing at the moment. And okay, and that's okay. Okay, so it was not. They, the A officials, after conferring, have determined that Jalen was correct in his argument. And so that was not a 3-D play. So make it 52-33, Indiana Lions in the lead. So they ground the gears a little bit, put it in reverse, <laughs> <right>. subtracted one, <laughs> coasted down the hill. Right, yep. Now it's 52-33. Here come the aces. I will say when Jalen Kelso... Uh, Argue, tries to argue a point. He doesn't do that habitually. So when he makes an argument, he really feels he's genuinely in the right. Two points up and good by uh, the Aces. Makes it 52-35. Gerald Cam Campbell brings it across the court. I watched Jalen play for a number of years when he was with the Jazz. And oh, he was one of my favorite non-Lions oh, to watch Leon. play. Oh, goodness. That was a... I think that's Carruthers under there. Yep, Lion or uh, Leon battling him for the rebound. Okay, they are they calling Lee, uh, foul on Leon? Uh, it must be. Oh, uh, they the are, but the he had a hold of the ball, and that yeah, I would have called that a jump ball, but that's why I'm up here. Oh, yep. look out, Jordan! There you go. Lions knocked the ball loose. Eric eventually reels it in. Yep. Can't. Everybody's got to keep their heads on a swivel. Cam to the basket, shoots, nice. scores, draws the foul. Let's see who the offender is. But it's an ace. Probably. Let's oh, the see. suspense. I think he's trying to figure it out now. Maybe the font oh. is tough for him to read as well. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those guys in the low blocks. Because it wasn't this one out here in <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> they uh, didn't according say. to the scoreboard, it was called against Thompson. There you go. Okay. We'll take the word for it. Yep. Thompson underneath. Oh, his shot won't go. I think Leon go. got another block, and those guys are doing a tremendous job on the boards today. Yes, they are. The, the Lions, Lions have really stepped it up. Are on a defensive mission. Thank goodness after last game. <laughs> Cam said, what are you throwing it to, man? <laughs> Leon thought maybe the referee was on the Lions. Yeah. Threw yeah. it right to him. Hit him in the head. Ball goes out of bounds, awarded to the Aces. Tyrone Brown, coach of the uh, Lions, arguing that it was tipped. I, I think it was tipped by Cam. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm not sure. Yeah, well, everything's right. Everybody just yeah everybody, settle down. Everybody. Aces take the ball out. Cam's <laughs> Cam's yeah. like, let's get this thing going. Yeah, Cam's like, I'm yeah. gonna play basketball. I'm let's go off here. All right, we're back underway. Aces do indeed have the ball. This is Stanberry. He throws it over to Jolly. Derek dribble dribbles, guarded by Jordan. Phil tries to put a hand on it. Oh, Derek shot up and good for the Nashville Aces. 55-37 as we hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. Leon Tillman bringing the ball up the court for the Lions. Leon nice with move. the moves, Spin but move. oh, could Can't not get a shot finish to go. it. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, Leon! Oh, he's wiping off his hands with a smile. Yep. Aces. There you go. Stolen. Bring by it Jared down. Carey. Leon. 
Leon. Now Leon's going to. Goodness oh, sakes. Oh, man, Leon. Leon can't buy a break down there. Either that or Carruthers is playing some tremendous defense. Oh, Ball is out of bounds. It is getting really sloppy all of a sudden. Yeah, goodness sakes. Yeah. Can't even keep up with the action. And for the Aces, the last place you want to throw the ball back inbounds. Jordan, Jordan Heidelberg, Heidelberg for three. For three. The last place you want to throw the ball back in bounds is right underneath your opponent's backboard. Exactly. Right to Leon, but, yeah, they got lucky. and I think that might have been a 3-D light for a nanosecond until Leon couldn't get a shot to fall. Leon with the box out and another rebound. Jalen Kelso's shot won't go. Over Come on, Phil. Phil Bessick. Phil for three. No, too much. Rebounded by, I think, that's Stanberry. If he'd just stand there and show me his number, that would help. Yes, it was Stanberry. Back out to Stanberry, three-point shot, up and good. Okay, I got one. Three points for 22. 40 seconds left in the quarter. 58-40, Lions in the lead, and that is, uh, should be a 3-D play. It is. They call it a 3-D play. Stanberry puts up a three-point okay. shot. It well, we won't go. It back and before I can even put our – Yep. There you go. Oh, Leon and Cam were – Jordan Heidelberg okay. for two. So when Stanberry missed his three-pointer and the Lions got the rebound, that killed the 3-D light. Kelso comes flying in there, uh, whistle on the on floor. That's going to be on Eric Messer with the uh, reach-in foul. All right. Yeah, the tempo is kind of sped up a little bit, and I don't know if it's, it's necessarily serving either team well. No. <laughs> Preston Case, Tracy Ganau coming in, Leon and – Cam coming out. Yeah, this is the point in the game where you don't want any cheap fouls right before halftime that are going to put your no. Holy Stanberry cow. shot up, no good. Rebounded by Tracy. Tracy Get throws it, it over Last to shot. Jordan. Two and a half seconds left. Jordan shoots, won't go. Time expires, and we go to halftime with the Indiana Lions up 60-40 on the Nashville Aces. Six fouls for the Lions. Five fouls for the Aces. Get scrubbed off the scoreboard. And Jim and I will see you in roughly 15 minutes.
We're back. Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana, coming out of halftime. There has been a score adjustment during halftime, and three more points were awarded to the Aces. So it is 60 to 43. Lions in the lead over the Nashville Aces. And on the floor for the Aces is Holt, uh, Stanberry. That looks like Jalen Kelso over there. Jamario Rivers. And Moore is your fifth ace out on the floor. And for the Indiana Lions, uh, Gerald Campbell, Phil Besick, Jordan Heidelberg, Eric Messer, who just stole the ball, and Leon Tillman. Eric gets the ball knocked free, goes out of bounds, stays with the Lions. So 60-43, Lions with a 17-point lead rather than I think it was a 20-point lead that we called at halftime. It was. And, you know, we had a couple bloopers with the scoreboard, so they got it all worked out. Aces have a scorekeeper here, as do the Lions. So, whoops. Leon thought Eric was going to be where Eric wasn't, and ball goes over to the Aces. Here comes Moore up the floor, throws it over to Jalen Kelso, back over to Stanberry. Stanberry underneath the Rivers. Rivers shoots, no good. Rebounded by Gerald Campbell. Over to Jordan. Jordan, ha bleh, Pull Jordan it up. and Heidelberg is being guarded by Moore. Pull it up and wait for the rest of his team to come. That's a travel. That's a travel. Yeah. Ball goes back over to the Aces. Still 60 to 43. All right. Aces with the ball. That's Moore over there. Oh, and yeah. That is going to be on 13 for uh, blocking. Yeah, he kind of pushed Jordan out of the way. All right. Foul that called was Holt. against Holt. And this is Leon Tillman with the ball, guarded by Jamario Rivers. Hands off to Eric. Back over to Leon. Leon over to Cam. Mm, Cam almost, <laughs> almost moved and yeah. lost that one. Cam shoots over Rivers, won't go. Rebounded by, who is that down there? Stanberry. Stanberry over to Moore. And nobody is there to catch that one. Moore was faking a three and thought he was passing to a teammate, but the teammate didn't receive the other end of that telegram. And he got faked out too. Yep. <laughs> The teammate was gone, so the ball goes over to the Lions. Phil Besick with it, throws it over to Jordan Heidelberg. Jordan dribble dribbles, guarded by Stanberry. He'll drive to the basket. Nope. Over He's to Phil. Throw it over to Phil. Phil's all by himself. Oh, off, off the, the top, top of, of the, the backboard. backboard. I oh, Phil. would have thought that would have been a dead ball, but nope. And that is off the aces. Ball goes back over to. The Lions. Eric, so Eric Messer with his quick hands knocked it off the uh, Aces' uh, knee down there in the corner. Not sure who that was. Almost two minutes gone, and it's still 60 to 43. And it appears the Aces are coming out with a little bit stronger defense in the second half. Yep, yep. they're playing a lot tighter. Yeah, two. and that's their second foul of the quarter already. Yeah, too two tight on gone. that one. That, I believe that's going to be called against Holt. It is indeed, according to the PA announcer. Eric Messer and Jordan Heidelberg working something out in the middle of the. He says, I will buy the first round tonight. <laughs> That's right. After we win this. <laughs> Phil Besick drives to the basket. And he gets foul. fouled. I have a feeling we're, we might be shooting some free throws here in uh, uh, a few minutes. As it is eight free throws per quarter. Uh, eight Goes, fouls, yeah. Or eight, fou yeah, eight fouls. Uh, yeah. Eight fouls and a quarter will get you two automatic free throws yep. on the foul, regardless of. Moore is called for the foul. Okay. Moore, Moore was called for the foul for the aces. Phil Besick is going to shoot two. I'm not sure what that whistle Just was needed to have some guys down on the block. Oh, okay. Phil's first shot is up and good, and we finally, yeah, I two minutes, six seconds into the second half, finally have our first point of the half. I believe with that, uh, uh, the whistle, if uh, we have to have two guys down on the blocks. Okay. Each team has to have two, two guys down on the blocks. All right. Uh, I've seen a technical call on that. I'm not sure exactly what that rule is all about, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yep. Ace's shot won't go. Rebounded by oh, Phil Besick. That is a 3D a... play. So that was Jalen Kelso with the layup. He gets two. 
at a third point for the turnover in the backcourt. Come on, guys. Got to break the press. And what have we? We got a timeout, Tyrone Brown. No, oh, no. No, 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 no. Seven second violation. 3D light is on again. So that three point shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Eric Messer. That will kill the 3D light. And okay. With that 3D play, that's how teams get back into it real quick. It is indeed. So uh, Jalen Kelso stole the ball. Eric gets it knocks it knocked out of his hands. Oh my! There's Leon Tilton. <laughs> Leon knocks it away. All right, guys. Goodness Leon. sakes! And oh yeah! Oh, wow! That's Jordan be gets on. creamed. Is that on number two? I don't know if that's going to be on Rivers or on Stanberry. He got hit by two guys there. They're trying to tighten up their defense, but they're also fouling a lot. Yep. So yeah. earlier, Jalen Kelso stole the ball in our backcourt, made the layup. So that gave the Aces two points for the basket, one point for the 3D play. That's how they got their 46. Uh, Eric Messer is going to take a seat. Scooty Walker enters the game. Cam and one of the Aces players. Oh. Are, I don't know what they're doing. See. <laughs> Making dinner plans I, probably. I see you. I see a. That's Holt. Yeah. There and we Holt's go. Holt's going to come out. Yeah. Coach for the Aces says, quit that. Yeah. All right. Back in business. Phil throws it into Jordan. Jordan guarded by uh, Kelso. Phil now with the ball over to Scooty, top of the key. Scooty's guarded by Moore. Over to Phil. That's a little Three bit better. Pointer by That's Phil. a little bit better. 65-46. Phil says, put me on that side. Whistle on the floor. Timeout by Nashville. 8.36 left in the third quarter. Close enough for a media timeout. And so Jim and I will treat it as one. Indiana Lions 65, Nashville Aces 46, and we will be back in a moment. Welcome back to Danville Community High School as we come out of the media timeout. 8.36 left in the third period. Indiana Lions 65, Nashville Aces 46. And, uh, Jim, Nashville's found another gear here in the second half. They have. They have clamped down on defense quite a bit. They're, yeah. uh, you know, the Lions still have a 19-point lead. However, they're trying to put as much pressure on the Lions, bringing down the ball as they can. Mm -hmm. Not quite a full-court press but they are not giving them any space. No, no. And we have a, there we go. Rivers throws it into Stanbury and we're underway. I think they were waiting to waiting for the media for oh. the uh, end of the media timeout, but I believe we're the only media. Yeah. <laughs> and we're good. Well, Betty Bartley's here from the Republican newspaper. Oh, yeah. so she maybe. might've been taking a picture. It could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Scooty, Scooty gets the ball stolen. Jalen Kelso again. Boy, he's being a pest on defense. Rivers to the hoop, shoots, scores, draws the foul, and I believe Leon Tillman is the guilty party. So Jamario Rivers will go to the line to shoot one. 8-12 left in the third period. 65-48, Lions in the lead. And, yes, Betty Bartley has taken very good care of us. She and the Republican newspaper, we... Very much appreciate the constant media hey coverage of the Lions throughout every season. We're going to have to get it across. There's. Did we have a foul? Timeout. 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 Lions. Nashville's getting a lot more animated, too. 
Um, I think they're saying that was a timeout. Well, they still had 19 seconds on the 24 second shot clock, so it wasn't like it was huh. that right. close. Well, Let's take a time out. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a little break. 8-12, left in the third quarter. Uh, we'll keep it here. Okay. 65-48. What do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. Is there any basketball being played today? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the, uh, the Nashville Aces have a lot more pep in their step coming out of the locker room. They and that's sure do. Probably something that their coach wanted to see more of because they were, um, you know. Uh, Complacent. Yeah. Or lackadaisical. Yeah. And several of these guys I've watched play over the years for different teams, and it, they just didn't seem like themselves. So I know it's a it's a long trip from Nashville up here. Um, Nonchalant. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they were a little road weary. Uh, but Was I fair? <laughs> <laughs> they must have had some Red Bull at halftime, and yeah. they're, they're looking a lot more ready to go here. Yeah, you know, uh, some teams get a little – car lag after a five-hour drive or Hell and yeah. most of them uh if not all of them don't come until the game so they probably left this morning and uh -huh. got here around two o'clock and or later right game starts at four and yeah. takes until about the third quarter to unwind a little bit <laughs> right. and we've lost the scoreboard oh yes we have all right well we're uh, getting the scoreboard situated we got one of the scoreboards on. Of course, the scoreboard that our camera is on is now the other one's off. off. And you know what, Jim? Let's go ahead and take a media Let's timeout while they get it. this sorted out. And All we'll right. be back as soon as we can.
right, well, uh, we're still here in Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana. We still don't have the scoreboards working. Um, near as we can tell, there's some issue with the power source, possibly a cord. It appears to be an extension cord and a power strip that they're having a problem with. Yeah, we just didn't want you folks to think we forgot about you and left you on commercial while the yeah. game was going on. Oh, sorry about that. The game was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. already over. We, we enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the score or anything. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> and somebody won and somebody lost. Yeah. Yeah, they're pulling up the, uh, the scorer's table and doing a little electrical work behind there, and I think it's pro something is getting overloaded. Probably a cheap power uh, power strip. Could be, yeah. Now the Danville Community High School lights are flashing. and Yeah, so it appears to be an electrical issue. Uh, meanwhile, the aces are down on one end of the court shooting around. The lions down here on the other end of the court shooting around. Stay warm, fellas. Yeah, certainly have lost a lot of momentum here. and We apologize for that. Did not foresee having scoreboard issues today. But there's a bunch of people diligently working on it, as yeah. you can probably see in the feed. So hopefully we'll be back to playing ball here soon. Yeah, it looks like, uh, oh, it takes me back to uh, Christmas story when uh, father's plugging in the Christmas tree and you got three ways <laughs> and splitters. And yep. Kind of what I've seen two extension cords and a power uh, strip come out so far. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, hopefully they can get it sorted out here pretty quick. We had a great game going on uh, before this very long break. Uh, Nashville Aces were trying to mount a comeback, playing tighter defense and getting uh, getting all fired up and showing some gumption that they didn't have in the first half. And I'll be curious to see what, if any, effect this layoff has. In the meantime, we've seen some members of the Clarksville Phoenix come into the gym. Clarksville Phoenix and Ohio Kings are set to battle it out beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Central Time. And, uh, and that is if this game finishes by that <laughs> yeah. time. Goodness sakes. Always something. Oh, it is, yeah. So the crowd in the gym is patiently awaiting a return to a lit scoreboard, just as we are. Just listening to D Doc Swift on the, the DJ down in the corner. Yeah. Trying to keep everybody entertained a little bit. All right. At least, well. at least he turned down his volume for old guys. That That's true. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow, I don't need my chest to just to uh, with feel the base right. that bad. Yeah. All right. Yep. Guys are staying warm. Some guys taking a break because it's been a long game already. Yeah. And since they pushed the desk back, I think they're. Did they? Did they choke it enough? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know if did they put the clutch in <laughs> enough. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Somebody. Somebody give it a push start. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Pop the clutch on that. That could be. They stalled the engine. <laughs> yeah. That's why the light went yeah. On. Somebody stick a screwdriver in the carburetor. <laughs> That's the, hadn't had to do that for a few years. <laughs> All righty. Well, we're going to take it back to commercial break, but we just wanted to let our viewers know we haven't forgotten about you. We're still here, and just as soon as we get a scoreboard and get ready to play again, we'll be right back with you.
grade. Welcome back to Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana. We, we have light. 8-12 left in the third quarter. They've given the Indiana Lions 47,000. No, they've given the Indiana Lions 65 points. The Aces 49 points. I believe that's correct. Four fouls for the Aces, one foul for the Lions. That sounds also familiar. And lo and behold, I think we are finally ready to play some basketball. Yep, I think we had to unplug the Lion community or the uh, Danville Community High School yep. side <clears throat> light and plug in the scoreboard. Yep. So we seem to have Juice running back to the scoreboard. It's a good thing. May not have a 3D light or a possession arrow, but we'll see. I think they're minimizing their electrical <laughs> usage I over there. I believe so. All right. Back at it. There Where was, are we that's at? right. There was a basketball game taking place here. Oh, basketball. Yeah. Yeah. So right. Leon Tillman is going to inbound. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. I know that is correct. Long oh, pass in. Good. Cam yeah. reels it in, throws good. it over to Phil Besick, and read, here Cam. we go. Good read, Cam. Phil right, throws guys. it over to Leon. Leon thinks about a three. He decides he's going to take it in closer. Wow. Yeah. Jamario Rivers wants a jump ball. However, there was a whistle, and Rivers is going to get called for a foul. That'll be the Aces second foul, of, or sorry, the Aces fifth foul. I was looking at the wrong side of the scoreboard. Okay, we're gonna try to talk the officials out of the. Right, of course. Out of the foul. So Leon will go to the line and shoot two. 65-49, 7.59 left in the quarter. Leon's first shot up, oh, no good, too much mustard. Just relax, Leon. Yep. Yeah, of course, being off for another 15 minutes after halftime was right. probably cooled off a hair. Not enough mustard on that one. He misses them both. Rebounded by Moore. Moore brings it up the floor. Throws it down to, uh, that is Stanbury, I think. Underneath the Rivers. Okay. Rivers shoots and scores two. Makes it 65-51. And the uh, Aces are playing full court pressure. There you go. Oh. Ball is knocked out of bounds by the Aces as Leon tries to pass to Cam. All right, guys, we're going to have to get a little motion. Yeah. The Lions going to have to get a little motion to shake some, shake some defenders. Leon with the ball, guarded by Rivers. Let's see if we can pick up another foul on Rivers here. Over to Cam. Blocked oh. by Rivers. And that's another one on Jamario Rivers. And, and Rivers. another technical. Rivers is called for the technical foul since he grabbed the ball and ran down to the other end of the court. And that was not the smartest of plays. So, that I assume we'll send Gerald Campbell to the line. Yes, it will. 65-51, 7.28 left in the third quarter. And I would have to check, does the technical foul also count as a personal foul? I uh, couldn't tell you. I'm going to have to see it on the scoreboard how the, oh, Cam. Cam I'm can't have get to his first shot to go. Because a lot of times, I guess it depends on the league. I'm not going to take for granted the ABA rules. No, no. Cam, second shot up. Good. There's Cam. 66 51. And now I believe somebody will be shooting two more for the original foul, and it will be Cam again. Also, Cam. So. Jamaro, Jam uh, bleh, Jamario taking the ball and running only cost them a point. Cam getting a little free throw practice today. Yep. Cam's good on the first of his shots for the original foul, 67-51. That's what you call a true team player when your, your, your tennis shoes, basketball shoes also match your uniform colors. Yep. Missed yes, the indeed. second one. Can't get the second one to go. Rebounded by Moore. Moore is going to fire up a three-pointer. It's going to have too much mustard it go, on it. It'll go out of bounds and over to the Lions. Jordan into Scooty. Oh, There's Kelso that is a three. again. That is a 3-D play, and that's going to be a and foul on Jordan right. Heidelberg. Yes, Jim is correct. That is a 3-D play because Kelso, who has been just the biggest pest on earth for the Aces, stole it in our backcourt. 
And then uh, Stanbury was fouled, so he should be shooting three free throws. Yeah, and that foul was on. Light was on. That foul was on Scooty Walker. Stanbury's first shot up and good. He wastes no time putting that in the basket. Some guys have kind of an elaborate routine. Stanbury does not. Boy, he just. Says, nope, take and shoot. Yep. I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do some kind of ritual. <laughs> Preston just Chase coming in. Scooty Walker coming out. So, we'll see if Stanbury can make it three for three on the 3D play. Yeah, when it comes to rituals at the line, some guys just yeah spend their time dribbling. and Wow. He just says, give me the ball, I'll shoot it. Yeah, he's automatic on all three. Nice, all right, nicely guys. done by Stanbury. Break the press. There's oh, another 3D that is another play. another 3D play. And considering I didn't take the 3D light off for the last one. Yeah, more and shoots that's a, a three four. and add a point. For the 3D light, that is a four-point play, and hopefully the Lions have called timeout because suddenly the wheels are coming off the wagon for the boys in white. The uh, Aces were down by 17 at halftime, and they have cut it to nine. Cut it to nine. That full-court press, press that they are playing on defense is causing the Lions all kinds of fits. We can't get the ball out of the backcourt. And uh, so, Jim, how do you how do you deal with that? Well, you got to uh, these guys have practiced breaking the full court press, and this is where your quickness comes in. You got to be reliable with handling the ball. Uh, Heidelberg, Messer, uh, who else do we have? That's a great. Well, of course, Gerald Campbell. Yeah, need to work. You know, make sure that that ball gets across in seven seconds. And I'm sure they've got some plays drawn up to uh, to break that press. A little easier than what they're doing now because they are getting swarmed. Yep. Yep, this is the point in the game where you're <laughs> going to have to do some running to break free from your defender. And if you're the aces, do you keep up the full court press? Oh, because yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's working. Okay. It's it's also tiring, so I don't know. It Although is. Although they did bring 12 guys, so they, they have plenty of bodies. Yeah, we don't know what their conditioning level is, but it yeah. looks like these guys are all in great shape. Yeah. Oh. There you go, All Leon. Right. Lions get it over the timeline. Yeah, and that's how you do it. You just you just put a Leon Tillman out in center court, on the yep. other side of uh, half court, and um, yeah, I was trying to figure out what Tyrone Brown's doing. Shot by Jordan is up, no good. Rebounded by that's oh. Kelso. Yes, it is. He throws it over to Moore. Moore fires up a three-pointer. No, not can't, enough mustard. Can't do that all day. Rebound by eventually by Leon. Jump ball is called as he gets tied up with what is he? Holt. And I'm not sure why Holt is. Oh, I don't think he really wants to do that. Yeah. He <laughs> Interesting. Leon is a very mild-mannered man. You don't want to make Leon. Le okay. Don't was expect to get any more rebounds the rest of this game. Yeah. Oh, wait. That was. Was that Kelso? I it was Kelso maybe that was. Fighting for the ball. I don't see holes. No, it was floor. Jolly. It was Jolly. Oh, Zero oh yeah. Taking the ball out. Jolly, sorry, sorry. Goodness sakes, messing this all up. Sorry about that, Aces fans. Yeah, I think it was Derek Jolly. It was not Holt. My bad. Again, the font is just messing with me. All right, guys. That yep. is Kelso. He throws it back to Jolly. Jolly fires up a three. He draws oh. the foul, misses the shot. And who is down there who crashed and burned? That is Cam. Oh. It is. Oh, no. And Gerald Campbell comes up hobbled. And if He's going to need to take a bench. Or if this is uh, something more than what he can shake off, that would be catastrophic for the Lions. Hopefully he can shake it off. He's limping less, oh. so... <laughs> All right. Huh. Some of us know what he's doing. Derek Jolly goes to the line. He will shoot three since he was in the process of shooting a three-pointer when he was fouled. Oh, there His you go. His first one will not go in. Now the Lions fans are starting to come around. Yeah. Nashville brought a lot of fans up themselves, so it's good to see a lot of folks from Tennessee up here traveling. Now we're getting loud. Jolly's second shot up. Good. Ohio Kings have entered the building. And Derek Jolly gets one more. All right, guys, box out on the rebound. 
Make sure you get that rebound. Aces having an excellent quarter so far. Cut the lead down to eight. And it's down to seven after Jolly is good on his third shot. 67-60, 6 7 and counting left in the third quarter. Scooty Walker. Oh, that is another 3-D play. That is a 3-D play. A three-point shot up, no good. Rebounded by the Aces. Good Kelso grab. fires up a three, no. Oh, Jordan grabbed the ball. Jordan Heidelberg gets the rebound, kills the 3-D light. Escapes the full court press, waits for his teammates to get there, gives it to Cam. Cam shoots. No. Rebound. Le rebounded by Leon, Leon Tillman. Leon shoots, Ew, scores, yeah. draws the foul. And the, the uh, scoreboard where it indicates who was called for the foul is not working. They probably had to unplug that so that they could keep the clock probably on. so. Leon Tillman going to the line to shoot the and one, try to stretch the lead out to 10. He puts too much mustard on it. Rebounded by uh, Kelso. Long pass over to Jolly. Jolly fires up a three. No, won't go. Oh. Rebounded by Jolly, however. He kicks it out to Rivers. Over to, I think that's Moore. Moore puts up a three-pointer. It won't go. Rebounded by Rivers. Got some long, long rebounds. Here comes Rivers to the basket. Shoots and scores. 69-62, Lions clinging to a seven-point lead as we approach the five-minute mark. Here comes Jordan. His shot is blocked by Moore. Ace is bringing it back the other way. Leon. Le yeah. oh. Slow it down, guys. Slow it down. Time to get your composure. Oh, he had Leon Overdue. Tillman. Jordan. Jordan fires up a three. And that is a – yeah, a that's a foul. Foul called against Moore, foul. I believe. And that will send Jordan Heidelberg to the line to shoot three free throws since he was fouled while shooting a three. 69-62. Yeah, if Scooty would have turned this, or no, if Jordan would have turned this way as he was bringing the ball down, Leon was wide open on the wing over here. Jordan he was ready to, get this, ready to get this crowd yep. screaming. I think the Lions players and the Lions fans have Recovered from the shock of the Aces coming out a guns a blazing in the second half. And at least the crowd, anyway, has come back to life. The Lions bench has come back to life a little bit. The scoreboard's come back to life. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan's good on two of three, so that'll make it 71 62. Lions in the lead. That is also the Aces' eighth foul of the quarter. So any further fouls for the rest of this quarter called against the Aces results in the Lions shooting free throws. This is Moore with the ball. And he gets knocked That's down. That's a travel. And he's called for a travel. All right, guys, go. And uh, Aces letting up on that full court pressure now. Yeah, I think it's been broken too many times. And they're, uh, there's no reason to keep. Uh, Scooty Walker calls timeout. Okay. I thought he was. Oh, no, they're going to call that a... Uh, they're going to call Rivers for a foul? They're going to call Rivers for a foul. He was reaching in, kind of pushed Scooty. I think Scooty thought he was going to get called for travel, so he was trying to call timeout. But yeah. They get, they get Rivers for a, All right. for a foul first, and that's their eighth foul. So it's every... Actually, their ninth foul, but yeah. Oh, that is their ninth foul. Yep. Okay. So that's why Scooty's going to the line. So we're going to be shooting some free throws for this, this quarter. Yep. 422 left in the third quarter. Course. Scooty Walker about to shoot. His shot is up. His shot is good. Yeah. Of course, as you said earlier in the game, the, the uh, fouls will get wiped off the scoreboard after this quarter, and we'll start it again. Yep. Rivers comes out. Uh, I cannot read that font. Is that Four? Carruthers? That is Carruthers. Okay. All right. Scooty Walker. Step back and shoot. Yep. Nope, too much mm. mustard. Rebounded by Carruthers. 72-62 is the score. Lions up by 10. This is Stanbury. Throws it over to a teammate. That may be Leon Jolly Tillman. over there. Leon Tillman with the rebound. He throws it over to Jordan Heidelberg. That yeah, was Jolly over there. They are backing off of the full court press a little bit. All right, let's see what the Lions sure. can line up. Sure, we will see it again at some point in this game. 
Oh, Leon, Leon with the good loses hands. The handle almost loses it again. Throws it over to Scooty. Scooty to the and basket. That in and out. No should good. have been a foul. Ball, yeah. Ball goes out of bounds. Holy it's awarded cow. to the Lions. They are letting them play. Pastor Craig is shouting for immediate timeout. The referee hears him. 3:43 left in the third quarter, and we've got a game here, folks. Indiana Lions 72, Nashville Aces 62, but the Aces are mounting a comeback. Jim and I will be back in a moment. back from the media timeout. Danville Community High School in Danville, Indiana. 3.43 left in the third period. Indiana Lions holding on to a 72-62 lead over the Nashville Aces, but the Aces have uh, found a different gear in the second half, and they're uh, making a push. They're not done yet. Leon throws it over to Scooty Walker. Yeah, they have really tightened up their defense in the second half. They have, yeah. Uh, Scooty's shot won't go. Jump ball forced by Scooty after Moore gets the rebound. Lions possession. And the ball will stay with the Lions, as Jim just said. So Scooty will inbound. He throws it into Leon. Leon back over to Scooty. Scooty contemplates a three pointer, decides against it. Instead, throws it over to Cam. Cam underneath to uh, Leon. Leon shoots. Yeah. Leon scores. Isn't anybody stopping Leon from that one? 74-62, Lions up by 12. Jalen Kelso brings the ball up the floor, kicks it over to Derek Jolly. Jolly back out to Kelso. Kelso. Travel! It's called for the travel. Yeah, get the ball, get it in. There we go. As usual, I was looking at the wrong referee. And of course. <laughs> fortunately, the referee kept the travel sign going for a while, so I picked up on that. All right. Gerald Campbell with the ball. He's guarded by 17. Yep, aces. that's on somebody. And what is that? That's that, a T. Uh, that's a questionable one. Yeah. Come on, Derek. You've never been yeah. like this in the past. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Come on now. That will be a technical on <sighs> zero. Yeah. I hate seeing that. Come on, Derek. I don't know why you're doing that now. When, when, when Derek played for the Music City Jazz, we never had issues like this with him. Yeah, we're going to shoot two free throws for the technical first. Cam will get those. Or wait, he's going to let shoot. He's going to let Scooty shoot those. Cam's going to catch his breath and get his composure after he got walked over. And yeah. Yeah, that was about as blatant as you could possibly get. And right in front of two referees too. Oh, I, I don't, yeah. I don't understand that. All right, Scooty Walker. First shot up and good. That's what you call frustration. Is that what it is? That That's, is frustration, yep. Uh, I just hate seeing that out of Derek, too, because he's, as I said, I've watched him play for years, and we've never had a, I've never seen him do that. No. That's frustration and aggravation. Mm -hmm. Things aren't going your way, and Scooty Walker sinks them both. Yep, makes it 76-62. Now Gerald Campbell should go to the line. 
and shoot two for the original foul that was called before he was pushed over. Yep, and we've got a little chit-chatting that the officials are keeping a close eye on. This game means a lot to both teams. Sure. Uh, if oh, you yeah. lose, you're done. So, Absolutely. And season is over. Yeah. Um, this game moving forward for everybody. It's one and done. And we've we've seen some highly ranked uh, teams in other regions around the country in the ABA uh, lose in in their divisional playoffs. So you know it's up for grabs for anybody. Yeah. I'm I'm uh, not sure what the officials were just. There's a third free throw in a row from the Lions. Oh, yeah. Gerald Campbell with his first one. McClure has re-entered the game. I did not see who came out. And Cam hits the second one. Uh, Jolly came out. Derek Jolly came out. Huh. All right. So, Coach has given Derek some time to collect himself. And, and the Lions have uh, stopped the Aces' momentum. They have indeed. Which needed to be done. Uh, oh. Jalen Kelso's shot won't go. It's rebounded by uh, McClure, however. Put back up. No good. Uh, Battle for the rebound. And we've got a whistle on the floor. 21. And They're going to call that on Leon and Tillman. Leon Tillman gets dinged with it. He raises his hand and says, yep, that was me. Carruthers was under there battling for the rebound for the aces. Jalen Kelso into Stanbury, I believe. Yes. Stanbury guarded by Jordan over to Kelso. Kelso throws it across the court to Moore. Moore fires up a three and buries it. There he's in. Beautiful shot there by Moore for the Nashville Aces. And that'll put some oh, pep scooty. in their step. We lose the ball again. Uh, that's that'll another jump ball. Oh, that should go to the Aces. It will. And it does. 2.04 left in the third quarter. 78-65. Yep. So now the Aces are starting to perk back up again. Three-pointer up. Another Good. Another three-pointer. Who was that over there? That was Moore again. Yeah, Moore seems to be the only one draining the threes today. Yeah. Boy, he's been hot today. Leon yeah. Tillman throws it over to Gerald Campbell. Campbell guarded by Stanbury. Now over to Scooty Walker. Scooty. Oh, Scooty. A uh, little short. Misjudged <laughs> where yeah. he was. There's Cam. Now there's a 3D play, oh. maybe. No. They're no. going to say Cam went out of bounds. Eric Messer coming in for the Lions. Mike Carter coming in. Scooty Walker coming out. Phil Bessett coming out. And I... Uh, scorer's table ad asking something of the refs over there, or the official. I think it's all the same aces on the floor. Let me see. There's Carruthers. There's Moore. There's Jalen Kelso. Um, oh, no, that's Stanberry. Yeah, Carruthers. Yeah. And I'm missing one. Oh, that's uh, McClure over there about to inbound. Okay. Got them all. All right, guys. Thought I lost an ace 17 there for a second, seconds. But. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Stanberry fires up a th three-pointer. It won't go. Hits the top of the and apparatus. That's gonna be, and that'll be a dead yeah. ball. 129 left in the third quarter. Lines up by 10, 78-68. Eric inbounds to uh, Jordan. They're going to try to press him again, but... Yep. Eric gets it across to Mike Carter. Carter feeds Eric. His shot will go. And that gets the crowd and the bench fired up for the Lions. That's what we've been waiting for. Moore with the ball. Throws it over to Stanbury. Stanbury looking for help. Throws it over to Kelso. Jalen fires up a shot. It is good. Ooh, wow, that was nice. Shot. That yeah. was a two-point shot. Makes it 80-70. to 70. We dip under a minute left in the third period. Full court pressure again by the Aces. Jordan navigates his way through it. Throws it over to Eric Messer. Eric's guarded oh. by Moore. He throws it to uh, Cam. Jordan, Jordan going to Jordan. kick it over there. Underneath to Leon. Leon's shot gets blocked by Moore. Leon has a few words with Moore over there. I think they're going to lock down Moore on the three-point because... Stansbury, was that Stansbury? Uh, that was Kelso. Kelso, okay. Kelso with the three-pointer for the Aces. My goodness, that. And we're fought. gonna get some more free throw shot. Yeah, it's kind of a galactic type. Yeah, I mean, uh, Star Wars theme with a slash in. It's hard to. Yeah, it's. Uh, I can't tell if that's a 55 or a 33, but uh, anyway. Yeah, that's. Uh, we do have some teams in the ABA that 
don't do any any announcers any favors by, <laughs> right? <laughs> by the way they design their uniforms. That's right. I mean, the logos are pretty, but if we don't know what the number is. Yeah. Cam's first shot is no good. Too much mustard on it. Yeah, you'd think the Nashville Aces would have consulted with us first. Yeah, really. <laughs> Just email That's something. Right. Yeah. Shoot a text. <laughs> Come on, man. How dare they design their uniforms without consulting us? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's obvious that they don't broadcast a whole lot yeah. if you don't have to read them. Cam yeah. is true on his second shot, so it's back, back out to, to a 10-point lead yeah. for the Lions. Stanberry with the ball. He's playing for the last shot of the uh, quarter. Or not. He'll drive to the hoop, shoot, and score. All right, three seconds and left. Carter's going to have to hurry, and we're going to run out of time. Shoot it up. Cam fires it from oh. oh! I think he was a little late anyway. Yeah, probably. All right, we've reached the end of the third period, the longest third period in the history of third periods because of our uh, scoreboard issues, but uh, we made it. 83-75, Jim and I are going to take a break, and we'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to Danville Community High School, home of the Danville Warriors. And for today, home of the ABA Central Region Red Division Championship Weekend. And we are beginning the fourth quarter with the Indiana Lions in white uniforms, Nashville Aces in black uniforms, Lions up by eight, 83-75. And looks like the Lions will have the ball. Eric throws it into Jordan Heidelberg. Jordan guarded by Jalen Kelso. Jordan fires Good up move, a Jordan. two and hits it. Good move, Jordan. Nice two-point shot there by Jordan Heidelberg. Stretches the lead back out to 10. Speaking of stretch, it appears as though the... Uh... Uh, we got a whistle on the floor. Not... I don't know what happened. Uh, Aces will keep the ball. I don't know why we stopped. Well, mm. one of life's little mysteries. Uh, I think 24 seconds shot clock is my oh had my to, had to be suspicion. Reset. All right, Rivers uh, shoots and scores two for the Aces. Yeah. By the way, Jamario Rivers has re-entered the game for the Nashville Aces. <laughs> Eric Holm out of travel. Travel and a 3D light. Oh, they got to go over there. So, okay. add a point to any aces basket, add a free throw to any shooting foul. And oh, that is way short. We, uh, I can see that from here. Left Carruthers all by himself, but he couldn't convert. Lions rebound it, kill the 3D light, and here comes Gerald Campbell. Yeah. And Gerald draws the foul. The foul on Moore. I think the officials are watching the... Uh, Watching some of the aces with their reactions and ready to tee somebody up. Yeah. We've seen a couple of technical fouls so far today called on the aces. One against Jamario Rivers and one against Derek Jolly. Cam's first shot is up. Ooh, no good. 
Cam's been on the struggle bus just a little bit by his standards from the free throw line. Yeah, he needs to pull the choke and pump the gas a little That's bit. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> pop that clutch and start it up. 85-77, 11-10 11 left in regulation. Lions in the lead. Gerald Campbell sends up his second shot, and it will not go. for two. That's a rarity. Yes, it is. Carruthers got the rebound for the Aces, and here come the men in black. This is Moore with it, throws it over to Rivers. Rivers over to Stanberry. Stanberry fires up a two-point shot and hits it. That'll make it 85-79. So the Aces within six now. Here comes Gerald Campbell. He weaves his way through traffic. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh. They rule it off of Cam's legs. Aces want a quick toss. There we go. Jalen Kelso brings it up across the timeline. He's got a wide open path to the hoop. Shoots, but it won't go. Leon swats it away, but Moore winds up with it. Moore shoots. Moore's shot won't go. Rebounded by Cam. Good hands, Cam. Going to have to have good, cam, uh, good hands the rest of this fourth quarter. There's going to be a lot of swatting. Yes, there is. Jordan Heidelberg fires up a three. No, oh, too short. short. Rebounded by Rivers. Rivers brings it up the floor for the Aces, throws it over to Moore. Moore over to Carruthers. Carruthers draws the foul on the way up. Well, Jordan didn't give him an easy layup. Yeah. Made him, made him work for it a little bit. So Carruthers will go to the line and shoot two. 10-14 left in regulation. Lions holding on to a six-point lead, 85-79. Aces are, are coming. Yeah, and again, uh, the Lions are seated number two in the region. Mm -hmm. The uh, Aces are seated number three. Yeah, yeah. So just as you'd expect by closely seated teams, we have an even battle here. Very much so. This evening we'll have a 1-4 matchup. Yep. Crothers' first shot will not go. Second shot is up. It won't go. In and out. I don't know how that didn't drop. Doc Swift sending some love to the free throw line. Yep. Scooty Walker gets the rebound. Mike Carter with the ball, throws it over to Eric Messer. Eric Messer fires up a three. No, too much. Mm. Rebounded by Moore. Moore brings it up the floor, throws it over to uh, Stanberry, who throws it to Rivers. Rivers is guarded by Leon. Rivers shoots, Rivers scores. 85-81, aces within four. We said it in the first half. You know, Big leads are not safe in the ABA, and we've seen the Lions yeah, it's a foul. Go on, uh, from a 17-point lead at halftime to on. a four-point lead. 55. That's more. I don't know if Stanberry is cramping or if he's – okay, he's back up now. No, I think he's just, just a little uh, frustrated. disgusted with all the fouls that are being called on uh, the uh, aces. Free throws up, no good. All right, guys, these got to count. Yep. We've missed a lot of free throws, left a lot of points sitting there. Preston Case re-enters the game. Uh, Scooty Walker we enters the game. We got some more blood on a player. We got a lot of blood on guys. All yeah, down. how are guys getting cut up down there? Somebody have I like don't know something metal. Uh, yeah, there's there's a Derek Jolly's got a. No, oh, that's his no. mouth guard. That's his mouth <laughs> I guard. I thought that was. Thing. I saw the same thing you did. I thought he had a bandage on his cheek. Yeah, I thought it was a uh, band aid. No, <laughs> no, it was his mouth guard. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, I don't understand this. Oh. Ah. Somebody got a broken finger and has one of those uh, metal uh, splints on it or something. I don't know. Shot is up. No There's good. Preston. Preston Case fights the Pull rebound. It out of gets there. it. Gives it to Cam. Cam throws it down the oh, court. And that's going to be a 3D light. 3D play. Oh, Eric knocks the and ball we free. are going to leave the 3D light on because that, that is going to go over to the Lions. 3D play. Nope, they're going to keep it with the Aces. They're going to say it went off Eric. Oh, my. 3D light is still on in favor of the Aces. Add okay. a point to any basket. If they can hit a three-pointer here, they'll tie the game up. But Stanbury is going to take it in, shoot, miss. Good defense by Gerald Campbell. Rebounded by Cam. 3D light goes off, and here come the Lions. This is Scooty Walker specifically. There we go. He slices his way through traffic. Layup up and good for two. Nashville calls yeah. timeout. 8.59 left in the fourth quarter. Let's get a little breathing room here, Lions. Indiana Lions hold an 87-81 lead. And they're calling it a media timeout. So Jim and I are going to take a break, and we will be back in a moment.
right, welcome back to Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana. Uh, apparently the Aces are joining the Lions in their huddle. I'm not sure. Oh, getting some uh, medical tape. Somebody else is cut there with the Aces. What is going on? Eric Messer's cut down there. Yeah, and we know that Preston got Preston Case got cut earlier. Somebody has to have metal on their body or something. Yeah, this is getting a little ridiculous. I think that's the fourth line and the third or fourth. Yeah. Yeah, whoever's got a metal splint on or whatever needs to tape that thing up. This is Rivers with the ball. Rivers will shoot. Rivers will score. Rivers tries to get a foul called but is unsuccessful. 87-83, yeah. nope. aces within four. Scooty Walker, Preston Case. Preston brings the ball up the floor. He's guarded by Stanberry, hands it off to Cam. Yeah, that's on number two. Cam gets that's pushed by Rivers. Pretty yeah. doggone close to his seventh. I, yeah, I don't know. Foul called against Jamario Rivers. Foul is called on the floor, so the Lions will inbound. They will not shoot. Preston Case into Scooty Walker. Scooty gives it off to Cam. And that is a foul. Holy cow. No, Cam, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. All right. Lions uh, yeah. get Cal, uh, Cam corralled. Cam was upset because Moore came down on his back. Oh, Cam, yeah. And uh, Maisha Richmond is going to uh, have Cam cool off a little yep. bit. That's a good way to do it. I of course, Cam's going to be shooting free throws here in a minute. Yeah. I don't – I don't think um, Moore did that intentionally at all. I think uh, he was in mid-flight uh, defending against a shot by Scooty Walker that he thought was coming. Scooty instead passed it over to Cam, and it was just kind of a, a sequence, an unfortunate sequence of events, and uh, Moore's knee ended up in Cam's back. and We'll go with that. <laughs> I could tell three seconds before it happened that Cam was going to get Fouled. Uh, okay. Hard. <laughs> I was just trying to offer a different perspective. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I, so, yeah, Cam's over there. I'd be a little ticked off myself if that happened. That was, yep. yeah. It, he didn't, yeah, guys always complain, oh, I was going straight up. That wasn't even close to going straight up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he was going to land on his back regardless of how Cam went up. Discussion here at the scorer's table is the fine ladies and gentlemen of Danville Police Department and Danville Community Schools Police Department. Make sure that uh, things don't get out of hand. So we appreciate them being here very much. And yeah, we, we have got a lot of cuts for so. What in the world yeah, is going is, on with the cuts? And that's Eric Messer's shooting hand. Yeah, Eric's taping up don't understand it huh yeah I know we've got uh, well Cam doesn't have a cut now Preston Case had a cut on his hand Scooty had a cut yeah I think Eric's cut what in the world is somebody wearing that's yeah I there should know. be no yeah is there uh, is it a razor ball yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right ah Cam seems to be, uh, his blood pressure is back down in the 400s. So, yeah. Uh, Good job by Maisha to take him to the back and let him cool off a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a technical. Okay, technical foul was called. I got to assume it, well, I don't know. I don't know if it was called against Moore or if it was called because Aces came off the bench. I, I don't know. At any rate, Cam sends up his first yeah. shot and he buries it. And Cam is now mad, and that's never a good thing for opponents. You don't want to make Cam mad. No, you do not. 8.28 left in regulation. Cam shoots. Cam scores. Make go. that 89-83. So is that the third technical foul against the Aces? Am I well, was that a correctly? Okay. Uh, that I. Well, now we're not – I don't understand. I'm not sure because on. would Cam – yeah. I don't know. Nice. Anyway, Scooty shoots and scores, and it all works out Scooty. in the wash. I don't know why the Lions got the ball back. Uh, <laughs> well, but if it was a technical – and yeah, Preston Case go. steals the ball. Hands it Scooty's off to Scooty gonna Walker. Take that. Scooty – Oh, and that is a – oh, boy. Uh, Jolly okay. and Rivers. Scooty right. 
crashes and burns. He's got a smile on his face. He's all right. And ball goes out Scooty, of bounds, stays with the Lions. In this game, Scooty needs to stay on the floor for about five minutes. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I'll say it. <laughs> yeah, watch the replay. Huh. Yeah, I'll say it. I didn't it. say it, Tyrone. I did. Cam going to inbound into Scooty. Let's just say past history is quite comical. Preston Case from the top of the key. No, won't go. Phil Rebounded almost got it. Moore. Oh. Moore hands it over to uh, Stanberry. Stanberry guarded by Scooty. Lock him down, Scooty. Stanberry throws it over to Moore. Moore is guarded by Phil Bessick. Trap. Good trap. And nice Scooty steal. gets his hands on it. Preston winds up with it, and it's Lions ball. Yeah, that's a, that's on number 13. I think it's either 13 or 8. Yeah. I, it, yeah, it's a. Um, that's a 13. 13. That is it's a. Holt. Uh, okay. All right. It's either 13 or B. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a P. <laughs> Lions with the ball. Scooty Walker. He's guarded by Stanberry. Top of the key. Moves up to the free throw line. Gets a little closer. Scooty Shoots. with a nice little move. No, but couldn't won't put go. It. Holt with the rebound. He throws it down to Moore. Moore escapes uh, Jordan. Uh, takes it to the hoop. It won't go. Rivers with the rebound. He throws it out to... Jolly, Jolly fires up a three. Cam no. with the rebound. Cam gets it. All right. Moore's best effort. Yep, got to get those rebounds. 91-83 as we dip under seven minutes left in regulation. Lions in the lead. Four team fouls against the Aces. One team foul against the Lions in this period. Scooty Walker Cam. gets it over to Gerald Campbell. Guarded by Jamario Rivers. Oh, Cam's yeah. going to blow past him oh. and miss. And he got tripped on and the I way. I think he did. I don't think it was an intentional. Moore fires up a three. It won't go. Battle underneath for the rebound. Oh, boy. And is Preston yeah. getting called for the I foul? I think they got to call Preston on the, with the foul yep. on, the, uh, on the rebound. Preston Case called for the foul. It's the second team foul uh, for the Lions in this quarter. Called it on the floor, so the Aces will retain possession, and Holt will throw it in for the men in black. Okay, 6.35 <laughs> left in regulation. They've called a media timeout. Indiana Lions 91, Nashville Aces 83, and Jim and I are going to get a drink of water and be back in a moment. Coming back from the first media timeout of the fourth quarter, Danville Community High School in Danville, Indiana, Indiana Lions versus Nashville Aces. And let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It is Aces ball. It is Neal throws it in to Stanberry. Jamara Rivers oh. with a shot, and it's good. Makes it 91-85, Lions in the lead. Aces back to full court pressure. Going to have to hurry, Scooty. There we go. Get it across the timeline underneath right the Phil. Phil. Phil with the Bessick. reverse layup. Right through the back door. Here come the aces. Uh, it's a jolly over there, I think. Hits a three for the aces, and I'm almost positive that was Derek Jolly. Yes, it was. So, 93-88, aces within five. Still lots of time, lots of time left. Yes, there is. 
See if we can set up a play and get some easy. Cam's shot won't go. Battle for the rebound. Last touch by the Aces, says the referee. So the ball will stay with the Lions. And somebody blew a tire. Is that uh, Leon, like Leon over there? Yeah. Tightening up the lug nuts. And yeah, yep. Looks like Preston Case will inbound for the Indiana Lions. He does, throws it into Scooty, and we're off. Scooty being guarded by Moore. Now being guarded by Stanberry. Yeah. Rivers oh, almost picks it him. off. Leon's shot, I think, got knocked down. Oh. Last touch by the Lions. Ball goes over to the Aces. Stanberry is going to bring it across center court. Throw it over to Neal. Throws it over to Jolly. Jolly's shot won't go. Preston Case with the rebound. Here comes Scooty. He navigates through the full court press. He's going to drive, shoot, there you score. Go. Use, the, use the backboard, young man. Two for Scooty Walker. Makes it 95-88. Lions in the lead as we approach the five-minute mark in regulation. It's got to be frustrating for the Aces to get so close, and then the Lions uh, pop it right back out again. Yep. Here comes Scooty. Missed shot. Oh. <laughs> oh, he had a foot down. No, 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 no. Oh. They're going to call that over and back. That is an awful call. Awful call. He got his foot down. He did. Oh, hey. What is? 3D light is on for the aces. Mm. Goodness sakes. All right. Jamario Rivers with the ball. 3D light is on. This is a two-point shot. Up, no good. Battle for the rebound. That's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Over to the Lions. 3D light is now off. And Derek Jolly a little slow to get up. I think All that's right. Jolly. Scooty's doing a good job of breaking this press. They're yes. trying to trap him. And here's the thing: when they trap oh, him, that's case. open like that. Oh, and Jamario no. Rivers with the block. Uh, somebody reeled that in. Derek Jolly, maybe. That's a three-point shot up and good by Stanberry. And the Aces are within four. 95-91, 4:23 and counting left in regulation. Cam to Leon, Leon to Scooty. Scooty's oh, and you shot. don't have a. Doesn't go anywhere. That's, That's a 3D, 3D play. Lights. That's a turnover in the backcourt. 3D light should be on. Scooty shoots. Scooty scores. Add one for the 3D light. And yes, they did get it on. And yes, they gave him his third point. 98-91. We have got a lot of swatting down at this end. Yes, we do. That's about the third. The third trip in a row that we've got. Uh, should have gotten a foul. Phil knocks the That's ball right, loose Phil. from Moore, but there it'll you stay go. with the Aces. We've got nine seconds left on the 24-second shot clock. Yep. And uh, what do we got? Uh, uh, yeah, timeout, Lions. I think they're going to talk about this last nine seconds. Okay. Is that? Well, there's. Okay. PA announcer says media timeout, which makes sense. Okay. 3.47 left in the fourth quarter. Indiana Lions 98. Nashville Aces 91, and Jim and I will be back in a moment.
We're back in Danville Community High School, Danville, Indiana, 347 left in regulation. Indiana Lions and Nashville Aces engaged in a knockdown drag out brawl out here. This is Stanberry with the ball for Nashville. He's gonna draw a foul from Scooty. <clears throat> His shot won't go, so he will go to the line to shoot two. That could have been called on the floor because he took a couple steps after after his interaction with Scooty. Yeah. All right. At some point, why are what is the holdup? We're already two and a half hours into this game. Let's go. <laughs> why are we standing around? Patience, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Cam has got a beef with something. The ref. All right. Uh, okay. Well, Stanberry finally gets an opportunity to shoot, and he's true on his first one. Oh, that's right. Stanberry shoots him real quick, doesn't he? Yeah. He saw the speed this thing up. Yeah. Let's go. He's like, I'm hungry. I'm waiting for dinner, and yep. he's good again. Yeah. Sometimes guys think about it too much, and Stanberry is very consistent, not only making the shots, but how they go in. Gerald Campbell with it. the ball. Over to Scooty Walker. There you go. Pull it back out. Gerald Campbell with the ball. Nashville Aces trying to do the fake countdown of the shot clock. And Lions don't fall for it. And Cam shoots and scores two. 100 to 93. Breaks, Lions in the lead. Breaks 100. And Stanbury temporarily loses the handle. Scooty knocks it loose, but they're going to award it to the Aces. Yeah. Oh, that is going to be on. Uh, I guess he is a player, number seven. That is uh, Book, who is dressed for the game, has not been in the game, and they are kicking him out of the game. Oh. Yep. I, they are ejecting him. Which one is he? Is he the guy? He's the, the one up in the stands right behind the players. Oh, I see him now. I, I see, see a, seven on his shorts. There's a seven on his shorts, yeah. What? Sure, I, we can see his number. Yeah. He said something that the ref didn't like okay. because it was right there in front of their bench. And, yeah, they're okay. kicking him out of the All right. kicking him out of the game. I was going to say, I, di I didn't see anything, you know, like punches thrown or pushing or anything no, like that. No, it so. was, it was uh, something derogatory toward the official down there. All right. So the, lead the head official is uh, talking, talking with the Aces bench right now. Mm-hmm about some of the crap that's going on. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, yeah. well. Yeah. Number 11, Kelso says, I don't want, to, want any part of this. I'm coming out. Mm -hmm. Or who, or. Uh, that's Kelso out there. And Derek, that is Kelso. Derek Jolly also. Okay. Center court talking to the referee. Yeah. 310 left in regulation. I think order has been restored. Mr. Book is going to watch the last 310 from the locker room. Score is 193, Lions in the lead. Four team fouls for the uh, Aces, three team fouls for the Lions. Yeah, it was, you know, this the officials have let, let both teams play a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been quite a few fouls that have not been called, quite a few fouls that have been called. Yeah. And it appears that the Aces feel that they're on the losing end of the foul calls. Well, when I say from this perspective, it's pretty even to me. Yep. Yep. And uh, some of the really costly fouls that the Aces have committed uh, were self inflicted. I mean, it was oh, exactly. Yeah. You call a technical foul. Another yeah. Another technical <laughs> foul go. is called. PA announced. No, there was a technical foul uh, because yes, of the uh, because of Mr. Book, Book getting. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it looks like Scooty Walker's going to go to the line to shoot two. I it forgot happened. about the whole technical foul thing. That happened a few minutes ago. Yeah. And everybody forgot about it except for our PA announcer, yeah. John Coy, down there. Yeah. Thank you, John, for keeping us straight. Yeah. So that is that the fourth <laughs> technical foul against oh, the it's, Aces? It's at least the fourth. That's a shame. Yeah, it's been a really tight game. There you go, Scooty Walker. Scooty shoots and scores. Keep them coming. 
Yeah, they got uh, some of the players are mouthing at the Lions bench, and that's that's not only immature, but yeah, not it's uncalled for. Oh yeah. Scooty is true on both of his shots. That'll make it 102 to 93. And if a technical was called, shouldn't the Lions have the ball? Um. Lions aren't acting like they're. I plead the fifth. No, yeah, I don't ball. think they will. All right, I'm very confused. Yep. Rivers. Well, he got sort it in. Of yeah, it he in. got it in. At least it didn't go out. Jolly, it came off of Rivers' yeah, fingers. That was, that was uh, legal. Earlier than Jamario expected, but uh, it it was effective. Jolly's shot Ooh. from the free throw line up and good. Two for him. 102-95. Lions in the lead. There is that. No, that's uh, not. Uh, he was Kelso. right on. That was Neal. Three-point shot up, no good. Rivers with the rebound. Kicks it out to Moore. Moore. There you go. Oh, come on, guys. Got a rebound. Got a rebound. Yep. Aces uh, still have the ball. Rivers is going to shoot. Rivers can't. <laughs> gets blasted. Whistle is called. 3D lights on in the house. I don't know why. Uh, That's got to be his seventh. I, I thought the last one was his seventh. Yeah, Rivers has got to be up there on the number of fouls. I don't. I don't know for sure. Okay, 3D light is off. Them. Maybe somebody just got. I don't. It was so chaotic. Yeah. Okay, this is where we need our guards in the game. Yeah, a foul was called against the Aces on the floor, so it'll be Lions ball. Now what are we waiting for? This is come on. I don't know. We lose momentum every time this happens. Yeah. I'm getting tired and cranky. I need a nap, and I still got another game to call. All right, Scooty into Leon. Back to Scooty. Scooty's going to navigate around Derek Jolly. Throw it over Take to it, Leon. Take it, Leon. Leon's and he gets and tipped score. right in there. Nice. 104-95. Lions in the lead. Puts it back to a nine-point lead. This is. That is Lions ball as well. Lions ball. That is uh, Neil over there. Getting a little out of control. That sure looks like Jalen Kelso. Did he switch jerseys? Three. Well, you know. Yeah, he had a. I bet he had blood on his jersey. Oh. He's got eleven on his shorts. That's why I thought okay. it was him. But then I saw the three. All right. So every time I've called Neil, it's actually been Jalen Kelso, and that's there what, you go, Cam. Yeah, uh, kid. Two for Cam. So that's what confused me because he was wearing number three, but it sure looked like Jalen Kelso. Well, that was when we were having the <laughs> hullabaloo at the timeout. Yeah. Oh, that's short. And a shot by Derek Jolly is. Yeah. Now quite they're taking a bit short. Rebounded by Preston Case. Scooty guarded by Stanberry. Good ball handling, Scooty. Play a little keep away. Use yep. that 24-second shot clock. Minute and a half left in regulation and counting. They're going to give Cam a little bit of room. Cam's going to shoot. No. A battle for the oh, rebound. Oh, yes. That's off zero. They're going to say. Derek Jolly. That's Derek off his Jolly hands. was the last one to touch it. Minute 24 left in regulation. 106.95. We have a timeout on the floor. I think it was called by the Lions. We'll keep it here. Yeah, I think I think in Kelso's case, uh, he must have had blood on his. He's one of the bloody ones That's, of the dozen uh, bloody guys. Yeah, in this. that makes sense. Yeah, if he had blood on his jersey, he would have to switch his jersey. And they had a three left over in the box and pulled it out, and here you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was very, very confusing because I was wondering how – Kelso had a twin brother with a different last name. I didn't know how that worked. But. <laughs> well, was, yeah, it's uh, genetics. What do you do? <laughs> all right, so we got all that sorted out. Jalen Kelso is wearing number three up top, number 11 on his shorts, and we know it's him now. That's our theory. Yeah. Yeah. Did we get it sorted out? That's our story, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, we've had, uh, what, scoreboards go down that had to be push started. And yeah, clutch popped, and yeah, we're we've had bloody hands all over the place, and we're approaching three really? hours on this game time. Obviously, yeah. if you're watching uh, in in advance of the Clarksville Ohio game, the start of that game is going to be <coughs> delayed because we got to get the let the Kings and the Phoenix have time to warm up. Yeah, we don't want to push it back too late, but start time was around seven, yeah. and that's Cam a foul. Shoots. Cam scores. Cam draws the foul. 
And that pretty much, well, you know, you can't say it's over, but that pretty much puts a, puts a lid on the, on the uh, aces. Lions up by 13 now. Cam's going to go to the line with the opportunity to make it 14, although, as I said earlier, he's been a little bit on the struggle bus lately with his free throws by Cam standards. And I believe that finally Rivers must have fouled out. He's over there with his jersey off. So Okay. Cam is good on that one. Eight, nine, ten fouls, whatever it takes. <laughs> oh, nice shot there. Uh, who was that went flying by? Uh, uh, 20. Stanberry. Okay. So two-point uh, shot there by Stanberry. We're going to have to hurry to get this across the line. Preston loses the ball. That'll that was be a actually an play. over and back. 3D light is on. Three-pointer up and good by, I'm almost sure that's Stanberry over there. Add one for the 3D light, and it's 109-101. Oh, Leon. Leon's going to pull it back. Smart move. Yep, yep. Lions recognize that time is their friend. Yep, everybody's got to keep your heads on a swivel. They're going to be They're going to be swiping at it. Now, I know my daughter Natalie, if she's watching this while she's at work, is blowing a gasket because she would have wanted Leon to score. But, you know, we yeah. established in a previous game that Natalie doesn't understand running the clock out. This is called strategy. <laughs> yeah. Just because you can score doesn't mean you shall uh, or can, should. I can hear her now. It's a dumb strategy. Yeah, <laughs> just score. Just score. You score two so they can come down here and score three. That's right. Nope. It's coaching one-on-one. And that – Jordan Heidelberg temporarily loses the ball. Shot won't go. And Cam almost Stanberry. got almost got the steal. We got Scooty back on defense. 20.1 seconds left. 109-103. Lions up by six. I think yeah, the Aces are going to have to foul. They fouled down on this end, and they didn't give it to. Oh, didn't give it to him. That's their seventh foul of the quarter. That was Jalen Kelso. Obviously, he's. Uh, he committed that foul strategically. All right, Lions, you know you're going to get fouled. Yep. Who are you going to? Whose hands are you going to put it in to get the uh, next foul? Get should, the free throws. Here comes get us Jordan. In the bonus and a smart choice, giving it to Cam over to Jordan. over to Leon, and there's the icing on top of the cake. Leon must have heard uh, Natalie's cries of anguish from and her job Leon in Brownsburg with a little tip. Shot Let her roll. roll. That's going to do it. The Aces have resigned themselves to their fate. And final score, Indian Lions 111. Nashville Aces put up one heck of a fight, but come up a little bit short, 103. Congratulations on a fantastic season by the Nashville Aces. We look forward to playing you guys again next year. And uh, I, I would imagine that uh, for those turn tuning in to the Ohio Kings and – uh, Clarksville Phoenix game. It yep. will probably start no sooner than 7:30. Okay, I would imagine we've got yep. that'll give us 45 minutes. It really depends on the officials and all that kind of stuff. So anybody tuning in for the next one, yep, don't expect it at seven. Right. Yeah, but uh, it'll be shown here on YouTube um, on our live feed, and we'll also post a link to Facebook when we when we get that all set up. Uh, once again, final score: Indiana Lions 111, Nashville Aces 103. I'm Eric Ivey. I've been here with Jim Holtzclaw. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a little bit.